Okay, we're going to look at an activity for defining lines by points, slopes, and equations. Okay, so we're going to determine if two lines are the same. Um, what's going to happen is you will see your worksheet will match parts of this presentation. So um, basically, there will be parts of that worksheet that you'll need to do along with this video. So if you look at your uh, paper, number one says, do these cards describe the same straight line? How can you tell? So what you're going to do is you're going to look at line A and line B on the screen or on your worksheet, and without doing anything, I want you to just mentally decide, are these two lines going to describe the same straight line? They might be two different straight lines, but I'm asking, is it the same straight line? So if you were to create lines, would they connect up and make one straight line? So just by looking mentally, make a decision, and write your answer in number one. Pause this video if you need to. Okay. So now we're going to actually plot these points. <clears throat> so if you look at the screen, it says if we plot the points, they look like they might be the same straight line, but looks can be deceptive. How can we be sure? So you have a coordinate plane on your paper, um, and what I want you to do is I want you to plot the points on that coordinate plane, and you'll notice that it looks a lot like the picture on your screen. They, they, they could create a straight line. It's, a, it's very possible. Okay, but so go ahead and pause the video and plot your points. Okay, one thing I want you to do on your uh, coordinate plane. So you're on the coordinate plane. It says, here are some construction lines that might help you decide. So I want you to actually create slope triangles from point o or 0 and 2, 6, 10. So you're going to draw your rise and your run. And then from 10, 16 to 6, 10, I want you to do your rise and your run. And what I want you to do is I want you to, to count <clears throat> your spaces. And let's see what our rises and runs are. So for our first set of points... My rise was negative 8, and my run was negative 6. We'll call this A. <clears throat> so negative 8 over negative 6 would simplify to 8 over 6, which simplifies to 4 over 3. And then we look at B, <clears throat> and B's rise was negative 6, and the run is negative 4. So B would be negative 6 over negative 4, which becomes 6 over 4, which becomes 3 over 2. <clears throat> now, on your paper, there may not be quite enough room. Possibly, there's a possibility that you have enough room underneath to do the A and the B. <clears throat> But it's important that one of these is lay, that you see that there's differences between our slopes here. Okay, so even though it looks like they could be on the same line, they're actually not because our slopes are different. So that this is the case of looks can be very deceiving. Be very careful when you're determining if lines are, are, are the same. So on your paper, make sure you've labeled your rise and your run for each triangle, and you make some sort of notation that shows the final slopes of each. And I, I lost my drawing, but um, if you, you can rewind for a second and pause if there's anything you need to copy down. And then what I want you to do is I want you to look at number two. It says, were you right? If not, rewrite an explanation of why the two points do or don't describe the same straight line. So we do know that they don't describe the same straight line. So circle the word don't. And then I want you to answer the question, if you were right, how did, how did you, um, you described in the first one how you could tell. So all you have to do in number two is you can say, I, I predicted correctly. If you predicted incorrectly, which a lot, a lot, very common to do, just now go back and rewrite as if you were doing number one again, but write it in number two. Take what you know now and answer the question. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to look at number three on your paper. And what you're going to do for the similar triangles portion is you're going to go on to Google. And I want you to do a little research looking for similar triangles.
and slope. Okay, and this is together. So do a Google search for something about similar triangles and slope. Okay, or slopes of similar triangles, something like that. I want you to, to go do a little research and write, write down what you find, um, maybe like a definition or a statement that will help you understand how similar triangles determine the slope. So take a second, pause the video, and go onto Google and see what kind of information you can find out about similar triangles and slope. Okay, now based on what you found, we have some triangles, and you'll actually see a picture of the triangles on your paper by number four. Um, except my triangles have numbers on the sides and yours do not. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and I want you to add the side lengths to your paper. So add the side lengths that you see on my screen onto your paper so that everything is, note, uh, is noted correctly. And then I want you to, de to determine, are these triangles similar? Okay. So the first question you're going to answer is, are these triangles similar? And then, are all the angles marked A equal? Now, when you did the Google search, you should have found something about when, when you looked at the similar triangles with the slope, um, they share the same slope, similar triangles, the sides are proportionate, and the angles are equal. Okay, so keep that in mind when you're answering this question. So the first thing is to, to determine if they're similar, and if they're similar, it should be very simple to answer, are all angles marked A equal? So what you're going to do on number four on your page is answer this question. Now there is a little bit of room to do some work if you, if you can find it, if there's not enough room for you. On a notebook page is where you're going to do all the extra work and you'll just attach this worksheet to that page. So pause the video, determine if these angles, um, or if these triangles are similar, and label that on your paper. Okay, next up, and you'll see this at the bottom of your page labeled matching cards example. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be looking for pairs of cards that describe the same line. You're going to write the contents of the matches you make onto your notes worksheet. I'll show you that in a second. Then you're going to describe your reasoning or show all your work. So what I want you to do is I want you to look at the example on your page. Okay, The example on your page has two cards, line D and line J. Line D passes through 0, 3, and 4, 7. Line J passes through 36 and 39 and has a slope of blank. Okay. How can we tell if these are the same line? So a couple things that you can do on a problem like this is the first thing is you can find the slope of our, of our first line. So I'll do my second Y minus my first Y, second X minus my first X. My slope is 1. So this one, this line over here, should have a slope of 1. Now, you might say, well, I only have one point. Well, if you have one point, if I mark a point that's 36, 39 on a coordinate plane, let's just pretend whatever coordinate plane it is. <clears throat> my slope is 1 over 1, so I'm going to rise 1, and I'm going to run 1 to get to my next point. Well, if I rise 1, 39 actually becomes 40. If I go to the right one, my x value is going to be added 1, so I get 37. Okay, so again, let me rewind and tell you again what happened. If I pretend I had a coordinate plane, I'm not even doing any special anything, and it's 36, 39. If I rise and run 1 over 1, my rise is my y value change. My y value changes, it goes up by 1, so 39 becomes 40. And my run goes up by 1, so 37 becomes 40. So my point was 37, 40. Now, to help determine if this line, the, my two lines are the same, you could plot them, plot the points somewhere. Um, I could just keep, uh, create a table to decide if they're the same, okay? Um, if you do have the same slope, doesn't necessarily mean you have the same line. So you have to be very careful of that as well. So determine if these two cards have the same line and explain to me why on your paper offer number five. So pause this and do number five. Okay, well, uh, one other thing you can do is if you know the slope of each is one, you could take two of the points. Like let's take 0, 3, and 36, 39 
And if these two numbers have a slope of 1, then it's the same line. So that's another tip, another way that you could figure out. Take one point from each card and decide if that's the same slope. So determine if they're the same line and uh, write notes on your page. Okay, now if you flip over to the other side, you will see six cards. Line A, line B, line C, line 1, line 2, and line 3. And you have to determine which cards match with which cards. Um, you figure out your process, show your work, explain what you did, and uh, if you realize that line A matches with line 2, you'll just, you know, connect up your, that's not the answer, but, um, you know, somehow show which two slides create the same line. You can use an online graphing calculator. If you do that, make sure that you explain how, what your process was and how you did it. Um, what you'll see here that I want to point out is has a slope of blank. You need to fill in this blank. Okay, right here is an empty ordered pair. Fill that in. <clears throat> and the last one has everything that you need. All right, so you're going to decide which cards match with which. Pause the video until you're finished. And the last thing we have is a bonus. This will be number eight on your paper. Six shapes are arranged to make a larger shape 13 units long and eight units high. Okay, so we have a triangle that's eight units high, 13 units wide, and you'll see all these little different colored um, pieces colored in. Okay. Now, <clears throat> when I rearrange the pieces, I get another shape 13 units long and eight units high, but there's a piece left over. So if you look here, I still have 13 units wide and 8 units high. I use the same amount of pieces. If you count them all up, they're all the same, except a black piece is left over. Can you explain this? Okay, everything's been drawn exactly the same. The pieces have just been rearranged. So, you know, I have this little tiny triangle here, and I've got the same little triangle here. So nothing's been tricked. There's no trick. Um, you can actually look and see this triangle right here is the same exact triangle as we have right here. So there's no tricks. I literally, you, we just took these chunks and replaced and rearranged them. So for bonus, can you figure out how this happened and what, what, what the deal is? If you can figure it out, write it on the bottom of your paper.